Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I decided to film for you guys my morning routine. You guys, it's really crazy right now for me having three babies and right now with us being under quarantine, my schedule has definitely had to adjust with having my eight year old home. So now not only am I stay at home mom, but I'm teacher, I'm cook, I'm hairdresser, I'm all in one. So you guys stay tuned for watching what my morning routine is and I hope this gives you guys some encouragement, some motivation to all you mamas out there. Stay strong. If I can do it, you can do it too. Bless you. Bless the baby. Good morning. Good morning, Alana. Good morning. Good morning. Little baby. That's my baby girl. You getting so big. It getting so big. It's getting so big. Yeah. Yeah. I know I let you down. Your sister always coming to rescue you in the morning. Yeah. I know, baby. She's trying to grow up. Not my baby. Not my baby growing up. See what? I know. So during this time, you guys, I normally try my best to get myself together and put myself together for the day. Um, typically, you guys, I try my best not to stay in my pajamas and to put a little effort in a day because I find out when I do put in some effort for today my day does go a lot better smoother and I do feel a lot better about myself so I'm just throwing on a little bit of makeup and I am checking on Alana and just getting ready for my day I typically bring a few outfits downstairs with me before getting started with my day just because Alana does spit up I do go through a lot of outfits with this girl she is a mess So you guys, my husband is amazing. He actually wakes up in the morning with Leia, my two-year-old. So I get a chance to sleep in a little bit with Alana. 
Hey, Leia, good morning. Good morning, Leia. Yeah, mommy's down here. Yeah, you sleep good this morning? Yes, you slept good last night, I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, mommy didn't lock the gate. Let me lock the gate. Come back. Oh, thank you for the hot dog. Where's Lana? You gonna say good morning to your sister? You gonna say good morning to Lana? So this is TJ, my husband's first time. He normally gets a chance to see Alana. So he typically soaks up all the hugs and the kisses from her. You guys, let me know in the comments down below if I should cut TJ's hair. He definitely has quarantine hair. So while TJ is entertaining the kids for a little while, I am able to make a quick cup of coffee. This is really all the time that I have. Right now he's actually uh, working full time from home. So normally he'll check his emails, get started with work, and allow me to be able to have this one moment. Because after this, you guys, I'm solo and I gotta work it out. My oldest daughter Brielle, she is so independent, you guys. In the morning, she actually makes her own breakfast. She actually makes oatmeal and that's just something she eats first thing in the morning. But you guys will actually see my kids, they actually eat two breakfasts. So I'm not too sure if it's just normal, but normally this time it's about 8, 8.30. So they will eat breakfast now and then they also will eat breakfast when I typically eat breakfast which is around 10, 10.30 when Alana takes her first morning nap. Pass me um, a yogurt for Leia. Leia, breakfast. You ready to eat breakfast? typically eat breakfast together while I start to take care of Alana. This, you guys, is actually her second diaper change of the day, and this is about to be her second feeding session of the day. So while they typically sit down and eat breakfast, I'm able to get all of this done, and right after breakfast, you guys, I start homeschooling. <laughs> After I feed Alana for the second time, I put her down for her first morning nap. She typically takes her nap in this little swing right here, you guys. She'll stay asleep 
anywhere between 30, 45 minutes if I'm having a good day. Right now, I think Alana is definitely going through some form of a sleep regression because she definitely likes to be up and watching and seeing what her older sisters are up to. So when she falls asleep, you guys, I will get Brielle and Leia situated and set up with some type of activity as far as Leia and Brielle will start her independent homeschooling. While Leia is coloring, I typically try my best to do Leia's hair in the morning as well. I just want her to get into a routine of still getting her hair done. I know we're not really going anywhere. We're staying at home, we're staying safe, but I still think that she needs to get used to getting her hair done every day. And honestly, I think it makes her feel good to have her hair done. You'll see at the end when she sees herself, she's definitely feeling herself and thinking she looks cute. I know in this video, you guys, it probably looks like I'm being rough with Leia. I'm really not. All of my girls are tender-headed for some reason, and it's so crazy. They have these curls, and you know, you have to make sure these curls are detangled in order for them to look right, so they're just gonna have to do. There you go, pretty, pretty. You look pretty, pretty. <gasps> pretty. I really think Brielle is doing an awesome job with her homeschooling, you guys. She definitely has been trying to be as positive as she can. But some days I know it's harder than others. I actually didn't record it, but this day was actually a really hard day for Brielle with her homeschooling. She had a writing assignment and she really wasn't feeling it. So I really felt bad for her. But at the same time, you guys, I just offer to give her breaks and, you know, just motivate her and encourage her that, you know, I know this is a rough time. I know she's home and she's just used to playing and having fun, but we have to make sure we take care of our business before we go and have fun. Now, as far as Leia, you guys, I actually spend this time with her working with her shapes. I know she's only two, but I recently found out that Leia actually has a speech delay. She's two years old and she's only saying about 17 words. So here in the next couple of weeks, she is going to be starting speech therapy. So I was given some tools after her initial evaluation for things that I could be doing at home to encourage her speech. So during this time while Alana is sleeping and Brie is doing her independent homeschooling, I do try my best to work with Leia and to get her to do a few things and hopefully this will encourage her to talk more. If you guys are interested in, I guess, following me on my journey as far as Leia with her speech therapy and if any of you guys have been through this, just leave a comment down below. I will be happy to make a video for any of you guys. This is really has been I guess really discouraging for me and I feel like as a mom I have felt my daughter in some way because she's not talking but nevertheless I really haven't I just you know need to realize that each kid is different and I cannot compare her to any of my other children she's gonna talk when she's ready and trust me I'm probably gonna want her you guys I do my best to take advantage of the time that I do have as far as when Alana is sleeping so this is typically a time when I'm actually able to make some breakfast I have all of the girls settled and I will go ahead and empty out the dishwasher get ready for my day um, a breakfast that I actually have been enjoying you guys lately has definitely been hash browns and fried eggs. I'm not too sure why I'm definitely enjoying this breakfast. It's so good. I actually make enough for not just me, but for my husband and for Brie and Leigh. They both like to eat, like I said before, a second breakfast. So typically Brielle will take TJ his breakfast downstairs, but this day I went ahead and I took him his breakfast downstairs. So he actually works downstairs in our unfinished basement. He has this little mini office set up down here. So I try my best to be a good housewife and make sure he's fed while he is working. TJ recently ordered an office chair and it actually was delivered this day. He was so excited that it finally came. So typically you guys, um, right when it's time to eat, of course, Alana, she likes to wake up. So she is sitting at the table here with me as I'm trying to scarf down this food before anyone else needs anything. Mama definitely has to eat to keep up with her calories. Yeah, 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 yeah
You don't cut the racket. You cut that racket. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It just wanna be picked up. Uh oh. Come here, let's change your diaper. I haven't started potty training Leia just yet, my two year old. You guys, I am so nervous to start this journey. I know it has to happen soon and she's definitely ready for it. But I guess with her having to start speech therapy, I think that I wanna focus my attention right now on her speaking and saying more words. And then once we get to a good point with speech therapy, we will get this little girl sitting on that potty. So during this time, it is about 11 o'clock and my morning is actually starting to wrap up. This is a time, you guys, when I'm able to get both of the girls down for a nap and Brielle, she will be completely done with all of her homeschool work. So I typically will go ahead and make Leia some milk. She still drinks like some milk in Mom, the morning, in the afternoon, and she drinks milk at night. So I will make her some milk and I will go ahead and lay her down in her crib. get Lana my baby girl already and snug and wrapped up for her nap and you guys this really ends my morning after this I get into my afternoon where I'm able to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Brielle I'm able to watch maybe a little show because Leia will go to sleep for two hours and Alana will sleep for one hour. So this right here, you guys, is my time before the afternoon begins. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys see like seeing my morning routine and I hope you guys will stay tuned for watching more of my videos. As always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see everybody next time. Bye.